we are hunting down the keys for Rosine. While I'm looking for those keys, let's get the 24 valve here started up. That way it has plenty of time to warm up. Place it yet, so I can't confirm that this is the issue. But this truck does not cold start anything like this one. This one, you see, you touch the key, fires up, even if it's freaking cold. Or like when it sat for 10 days when we were on vacation, I came out, I let it sit for about 10 seconds with the key forward. As soon as the wait to start button went off, you know, the light cranked the key, fired up on a dime. This one cranks really hard even after the wait to start button goes away. And I'm thinking that the grid heater might be bad. seems like the grid heater is not working well because it, it just after you've ran it a little bit it'll start right up easy but when it's a cold start even though it's an old truck it shouldn't start that hard part in the annoying horn in the background there's a factory nearby and it just randomly goes off but anyway so in today's video we're going to be doing a pros and cons to why you should lift your truck and why you should not lift your truck now this truck we are putting a lift on it we've already bought the lift it's on its way it's going to be here soon and i like lifts on trucks but there are guys that have their own opinions about lifting their truck and why they do not do it why they are never going to do it and we're going to share some of the opinions from our top fans that watch our videos and i'm going to share some of their most valued opinions as to why you should lift your truck and why you should not Reagan's going to go over her top five reasons why she prefers a lifted truck, but she's also going to go over the top five downsides to the truck being lifted. And then after that, we're going to go through you, the viewer's point of view, and go over your top five reasons why and why not. Miss Reagan, what are your top five reasons as to why you prefer a truck lifted? Because clearly your truck is very lifted. First off, I want you to come here real quick before we get started. And I just want you to show the back glass here. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, oh, you're stupid. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. But anyways, I'm gonna give you guys my cons first because I want you to hear the bad news first. And then we're gonna end it off on a good note. But first off, I'm gonna start with, it's expensive. Obviously everybody knows it's not like cheap to do a lift, depending on what you go with. <laughs> and of course, Vinkle Snout, or how do you ever say Vinkle it? Snout wants to show off the lift. Obviously, this is another, actually we're gonna add this one. This is probably a pro. You know, you wanna be able to have a cat to be able to fit in, you know, your gap. That no, That's how you know you're doing it right and you don't have the California, or whatever it's called. What is it called? Carolina lean or whatever? Carolina. Whatever they call it. The kids Crap call it these days. So it can be expensive. I mean, there's other things that lead to a lift and running a wider set. For instance, your ball joints, um, you're gonna have to replace those quite often just because you are running a wider set. Now you don't necessarily have to ride with a wider set if you lift, but you're gonna look really silly and you're gonna be missing leg day. Another thing is rock chips. They are just terrible when you're running a wider set. And I actually have a, what would you call it? Almost like a film? It's called or? clear bra. Okay, clear bra. I mean, I know most people don't see it because it blends in so well, but it does help with the rock chips. Eventually, I would like to get this to Miguel so that he can actually do one of those coats that he does. Uh, hard coats I mean. Yeah, um, just to help with that as well. Uh, another thing is it's a little bit rougher of a ride, and I know some people are going to argue with me on that. M Rosine right now is rough just really because she's been sitting for so long and the tires are a little bit weird. Um, 
but if I had a brand new set of tires, it'd probably ride a, a lot better. But once the you, other thing is too, it is a twenty-year-old truck. It's, it's a twenty-year-old truck, so it's hard to compare because like yes. my dad runs a zone yeah. lift on his King Ranch, right. and a zone lift is considered to be like a base quality lift. But his truck rides amazing. Right. Well, it's a 2013 truck, so it has totally different suspension and everything else. But the other thing to point out is there's going to be guys that are going to be like, well, uh, there's, you know, any level lifts. And then there's, right. you know, like any, um, any of these other like super, super expensive brands of lifts. Right. Let's be honest, most 16 to 30 year olds that are doing these lifts, most, not all, but most of them are not spending ten to twenty thousand dollars on a suspension setup right. there are people that do that for a career and you know they do shows and all this other stuff and that's where they put all their money but most people aren't so in a general sense it's probably going to sacrifice a little bit of ride quality right and especially when you're like working with older trucks specifically you're going to run into things that you're going to have to replace or they're going to break or for instance if you watch the video on malachi going over everything that's been done with rosine Sorry about the stupid horn, the boat is passing. But we had to put a whole brand new front axle, calipers, brake lines, what? Crazy. Yeah, brake line extensions. Crazy, and... crazy stuff. So I guess it just depends on what truck you're specifically putting a lift on and how big you're going. But in general, everybody knows if you're gonna modify any vehicle, you better pull out your wallet because you never know what you're going to need more money for. Every, I swear, every time we take a truck to Devin, he gives me a call within a day. He's like, by the way, we need this. These bolts snapped. These yeah, didn't come out right. We're going to need a new... It's always something, and you just kind of have to expect it. Another thing is, I know it doesn't probably qualify. Ooh, sorry, I didn't know you there. Qualify with Rosine, um, just because this was level before, and then we did a 5-inch lift, so you're probably looking close to 7-inch. If you're wanting to go with anything higher, pulling a trailer, you're going to have to get either a drop hitch or, or some way. Like, for me, I have a roll pan now. So I have to completely move my license plate to be able to even hook it up to anything. Um, as you can see, Malachi kindly zip tied it because I didn't have any bolts for the uh, roll pan quite yet. So he did that temporarily. So I want to, you know, get in trouble with a popo. But that's also something kind of to consider. If you're somebody like me who loves horses or you have cattle or anything, keep that in mind if you lift it. Don't go too crazy because then you're going to be in trouble with being able to pull a trailer you now, on that? yeah now now this truck for the most part with a five inch lift yeah, a five like inch that. a five inch drop pitch is pretty common to mm -hmm. find and you know you're really looking at probably seven inches or so above factory right height yeah. because the tires are also taller but for the most part if you get a five to seven inch drop hitch on a truck that's five inches lifted it's pretty manageable it is going to make the truck look a little bit funny when you load it down and it's lifted because that for sure. soft suspension is just going to make it look like a squat like a dog in the yard you know what i'm saying but uh it's manageable so now we're going to end off with the good stuff on rosine and we're going to take you to the very front because let's be honest that's the best angle in this truck and the first thing we're gonna start with is appearance. I mean, this thing just, it looks so much better, I think personally, with a lift rather than stock. And also I can ride with whatever wheels I want to go with. I believe these are 22 by 14. 24 by 14. 24 by 14, excuse me. Hey, you did have You're like, everyone's like, how do you not know your wheels? Well, um, because I put them on so many trucks. He puts them on so many different trucks. There's so many numbers, You've had like I six different sets on the yes, truck Yes, I now. have. So, <laughs> This was kind of the size that I wanted to go with and it clears so good, which that's the next one, is to be able to have clearance so I can fully turn my wheel and get full clearance. Now, as you can see, um, it did rub a little bit here with my past sets and the previous owner, um, but it don't even matter to me because these fenders have to be completely taken off and brand new ones. Um, as you can see, it's flaking here. Uh, these are cheap, cheap fenders that they put on Japanese here. fenders. Yeah, these are OEM, so that's what we're gonna be doing um, hopefully soon. I mean, she looks huge. She looks huge with this lift. I love to be in a huge vehicle or huge truck. And I know like, for instance, my mom calls me crazy. She says, how do you not worry about taking out mailboxes or small children on the side of the road? I'm like, mom. We're parking it in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, that's not my concern, running down the road and getting in collision. I just feel safer i feel like my family's safer in a bigger vehicle it doesn't have to be just for show like you don't have to just have a really nice set you can take it obviously there's people who go mud bogging and stuff like that um so i think it's a way you can use it however you want if you're just wanting to you know enjoy the appearance or if you're wanting to go have fun in the mud 
Either way. Just swap um, a different set of wheels and tires on it and yeah. hit the pits. What do you think, Finkel? He likes it. He, likes he approves of Rosine. Yeah, he now he knows it. he's not allowed to be on the hood, though. Yeah. <laughs> or we will no longer have a Finkel snout. Fun fact, I'm actually him. allergic to cats, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So I tried to make a post on Instagram and get your guys' actual valid professional opinions as to why you should or should not lift your trucks. You guys kind of took it as a joke, if I'm being honest. And uh, uh, I think a lot of people thought of it as kind of like a a funny thing which is fine just so you understand i said the comments with the most likes i was going to use in today's video and these are what i got first thing we're going to go over is the top five reasons you guys voted for why you should lift your trucks off-roading capabilities you can fit bigger tires and wider wheels look super cool this doesn't make any sense but he said better ride quality safer in an accident top five that was the most liked comment believe it or not for the top five at the time that i recorded this video now we're going to go over for the second thing, which is the top five reasons you should not lift your truck. Five reasons you guys voted on as to why you shouldn't lift your truck. Number one, kills your fuel mileage. Number two, bigger tires and wider wheels means for more salt on your underbody and down the side of your truck, more rock chips and grime. Reason number three, it's harder for your wife girlfriend or relatives to get into the truck which is kind of weird you said wife girlfriend or relatives <laughs> i don't know it's just maybe they're all in the same pot i don't i don't know anyways um harder for them to get into your truck reason number four it's harder to park in parking lots with wider wheels wider tires along curbs and other things reason number five correct me if i'm wrong but he said I believe it's harder on your axles, suspension, and steering components. That in a nutshell, <laughs> what I was gonna say. It's mostly true. It is harder on your ball joints, it's harder on your steering, it's harder on your suspension in general, and if it rides rougher, it's harder on you know bushings and other parts all along your truck's drivetrain and suspension, stuff like that. So it is harder on your truck in a general sense, unless you are going to be spending five figures plus on the lift it's probably going to be true on most of those things it's still super cool it's super fun and if, and if everything's brand new when you do it when you do it right and you swap out everything that needs to be done for maintenance and preventative maintenance for the most part when you do lift your truck and put new wheels new tires on it it should be totally fine for a long time hopefully guys enjoyed that video thank you so much reagan for helping us with this video production. Remember, giveaway for this truck starts on January 11th. And then, um, yeah, don't miss it. Limited drop going live for this giveaway. And it's only gonna be around for the first week and then you snooze, you lose. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.